so I know I look gorgeous right now, um, but I thought that I would film a video for you guys showing you how to do your makeup, um, what products I use, and just general tips on applying your makeup. I'm going to do my everyday look because I get a lot of questions on how I do my makeup and what products that I use already. Um, so I thought that I would just film this for you guys and uh, try to make it 10 minutes or less. So it's going to be my everyday look, like I said, but instead of it taking me 20 to 30 minutes, I'm going to try to make it 10 minutes. Sorry I keep looking up too, I'm looking at myself, it makes me feel awkward. It's so awkward to just like look at the camera. But um, first things before putting on any type of primer is you want to make sure um, that you wash your face and moisturize and let that absorb into your skin before applying any type of primer or foundation. I found with my skin specifically, um, I have combination skin. And so there's less dry patches and the foundation won't stick to them and create like little bumps on your face, if that makes sense. You don't necessarily need to apply a primer. Um, I found that for my skin, it's very texturized and I have really big pores. Um, and so it helps smooth them out and make them less noticeable. It's not gonna make it go away all the way necessarily, but that's a type of primer that, um, that I use. And there's primers for like several different things. But next, I'm going to apply my foundation. I do two pumps. Oh my gosh. I do two pumps of the Too Faced Born This Way. The reason I use this foundation is because it's got, I believe, like coconut water or coconut oil in it. And so um, it's really hydrating. And I've noticed that I really like the Clinique um, Concealer Plus Foundation, but it dries. Oh. It's just that it's really drying on my skin for some reason. And uh, I've used Urban Decay foundations and I found that they just dry my skin out. And this one, it has full coverage and it's it makes you look moist. And it doesn't make you look dry and cakey, um, which is what I really like. And I know this isn't my color and I probably look crazy right now, but um, I haven't been out in the sun lately and I'm not about to go just like buy a new foundation, so. Next, I'm going in with some concealer underneath my eyes to brighten up my dark circles because they run in my family. You always want to go a shade or two lighter than um, your foundation color because it brightens up the under eye. Another tip um, that is helpful is to dampen your beauty sponge so it absorbs less product and you're able to um, blend it easier and use less product than you would if you're just using a dry beauty blender. So then once I have that done, um, I like to set my under eyes because my under eyes like to crease really bad throughout the day, especially if it's super hot outside. Um, so I'm just going to use some translucent powder. This is a uh, Laura Mercier, if that's how you say it. But this one doesn't have flashback, which is like when the light shines on your face and it shines white. So I just put this underneath my eye and just kind of leave it there for a second. I'm not gonna like bake per se, but I'm just gonna kind of let that sit there and soak in. So you wanna take an angled brush, um, really it doesn't matter, this is a Morphe, and then any type of darker shade. So really you could use a concealer, a foundation, um, some people use pencils, you could use a cream contour stick, you could use a powder. I've used really a, like lots of different kinds. I've been using this Tartiste uh, palette and it's got like highlighter in it, cream contour, and this powder one. So I'm just gonna dip it in the powder one. And I'm just gonna, where your natural dip is, where your natural dip is in your cheek. Like if you're to suck in, and you see this little divot, you just wanna go with that. Some people, um, theirs is more prominent, uh, so they can do like the straight line. Mine kind of curves, so I just kind of gently dab it on. And I don't like to do anything dramatic with my contour. Um, in the light, it looks kind of ridiculous, but I swear in person, it's not that bad. And then you want to stop kind of right here. You don't want to drag it too far because it just becomes unnatural. And we're going for a natural look. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy. Alright. And then next, I'm going to go up here on my forehead. The reason I'm putting some on my forehead is um, 
I have a five head actually, and it really just kind of draws the hairline down, um, and it makes it less distracting and less large. Um, so really make sure that there's not a harsh break before your hairline. Some people use the general rule of a three, and so, you know, they'll do like right here, go down, and then along the jaw, like in a three. Um, I don't really find that that works for my face shape, so I don't personally do it, but if that works for you, or if you want to give it a try, like, totally go for it. Cute little chubby face. Next, I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush. You can use really any um, type of thin brush to make a line. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to dip it into the cream concealer, um, or cream contour, sorry. And I'm just going to draw down the sides of my nose. It kind of looks a little ridiculous right now, but you want to start closer to your eyebrow, and then go down. And really what this does is it makes the bridge of your nose appear smaller, and it just gives you like a look. And I'm going to put some underneath my lip right here, just to make it look a little bit bigger. And really there's no rules to make up, just really do what you want, there's no right or wrong. Um, you know, of course everybody has their own way of doing things, but it's not like you're doing something wrong. So then I'm going to take my beauty sponge, I said sponge, blend in that cream contour I just put on my nose so it's not a harsh line. Oh my gosh, my computer's almost dead. So next I'm just going to take a little bit of bronzer, it doesn't matter what kind you use, mine's a little bit of a warmer tint. I'm going to take that and just going to put it on my cheeks. The reason I'm putting it over the contour is it kind of blends it in, gives you more of a sun-kissed glow, um, and it makes the contour not look as obvious because I'm going for more of a natural look. I'm also going to put some down my neck because I don't match. All right, and then next I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to use a blush brush. Really, it doesn't matter. You could use your fingers, you can use lipstick, whatever. I'm just using a Tarte powder blush and I'm gonna go on the apple of my cheeks where you think the sun would hit. This just brings back in some of the color that you lost when doing your foundation. The next I'm gonna apply a little bit of a highlighter or highlight. Really you wanna use a color that matches your skin tone. Some days I like gold. Gold isn't meant for my skin tone, but I personally like how it looks. So really just do whatever you want. But once you apply the highlight on some type of brush, you're just gonna put it right where the sun would hit. It's above the contour we did earlier. And I like to bring it up my temple a little bit. You wanna put it places where the light naturally hits. I'm gonna put some down the bridge of my nose and above my lip. All right. All right, so next is eyebrows. Um, I don't have an eyebrow brush, I just use a toothbrush, so don't make fun of me, but just kind of brush them out, make sure not a lot of the hairs are overlapping. Um, and then I use the Benefit pencil. I start on the bottom and just kind of follow my natural shape. I'm not too particular with my eyebrows just because this is more of a natural look, so it doesn't matter. Alright, and then once I have them drawn, I just kind of brush through them. I don't do too much with my eyebrows, I just kind of follow their natural shape and then fill in where the patches are. So next I'm going to do my eyeshadow, and since I'm doing more of a natural look, I'm going to use a cool tone darker brown, and just kind of go with an eyeshadow brush in the crease a little bit. This isn't going to be such a crazy look, because this is an everyday 10 minute or less look. Alright, so my camera died um, in the middle of doing my eye makeup, so I went ahead and I finished up half, um, and then <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do the other eye. So, like I said, I'm just going to be using a brown tone, and I'm just going to be going in the crease, and I'm sorry if this seems like a little rush, I just really don't want my camera to die out again. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of a bright shimmer, put it on the corner or the inner corner of my eye to kind of brighten it up. And then I'm going to take a detail brush like this. It's 
really small. I'm gonna go in with that same brown color and go underneath my eye. This helps create dimension and depth and really it just kind of ties in your whole look. And I'm gonna take a blending brush, which is just a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna go and blend out these colors so they don't seem so harsh. Next, you wanna take a nude or a white uh, pencil and you wanna go on your waterline. I do this versus black eyeliner because I feel like it makes you look awake and less tired because when you're tired, your eyes have like the pink underneath. And then next, I'm gonna go in with my eye, my eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna go in with my mascara, which is Roller Lash by Benefit. And I'm just gonna apply that quickly. And then last, I'm gonna do my lip and I'm using the Tartiste liquid lip and I'm gonna follow my bow and overdraw it just a little bit. 